what's up scrappy peeps it's Adele from Inky Quill and I'm working on some project life today I hope you're doing well wherever you are let me know in the comments where on earth are you in the world I always get interested I was looking at my analytics the other day and I think my top five countries are the United States of America followed by Australia no followed by yeah, Australia, then Canada, then Germany, and then I think the next one is the UK, it could be, I think. Um, but I didn't realise there were so many of my German peeps that watch my channels. I wasn't, ex that was a bit of a curveball for um, being in my top five um viewing country so hi to anyone from those countries or from other countries who are watching uh let me know in the comments where you're from i always find it really interesting where people are scrapping in the world so for today we're using a kit because i am accruing kits quicker than i can use them i think because i've been doing a few uh, i've been working with a, a diy scrapbooking kit that i put together over on patreon so i've been using that a lot and I've been also doing quite a lot of grab fives and uh, buy it and try it uh, videos as well. So some of my monthly citrus twist kits have been just gathering on the side there. And so I decided it was time that I definitely had to had to dig into them. So for my title card today, I'm using these uh, little alphas, which are from Citrus Twist. This isn't sponsored. I paid full price. Um, but I just really like the, the bits and pieces that are included in uh, the kit. So I wanted to use that today. I'm working with my title card and I always like to do the dates. I, I did try, used to do the weeks, but I didn't like it. And I, for me personally, I like to look back at the weeks and know, oh, that was the week of so-and-so's birthday or that was the week of Christmas or that was the week of whatever was going on based on the dates, not the week numbers. Are you a date person or are you a week number person? Because I feel like you're either very one or the other or do you do monthly uh, project life? Because there's, I know there's been a, a huge increase in uh, the amount of people doing uh, monthly project life, especially throughout all of the lockdowns and things that have been going on this year. Uh, actually, here's a question for you, peeps. I'm feeling very quizzical and question heavy today. I, I'm in the mood for a bit of a chat. Uh, but let me know, has the situation with the world and the pandemic changed the way that you are documenting this year? So if you do Project Life, have you changed it up because you're maybe not going as many places as you used to or maybe you're working from home where you used to work out of the home? Uh, I'd be really interested to know if it has changed your, your scrapping process in any way. I, For me personally, I'm not up to scrapping 2020, so I can't, I can't say it's changed anything yet. Uh, I do find that I, I take probably just as many photos but that's because Violet was born at the end of last year so I'm still taking a ton of photos and I think I'm, I'm keeping the 12 by 12 size but uh, I'm not sure if I will still have as many photos per week maybe I don't know we'll have to wait and see so this is a pic of Arch and I enjoying some uh, some dinner and luckily the stamp set had a few foodie things on it. I also use that little PM, uh, even though it looks like it's sunshine outside, we are eating it uh, in the evening. This was, where was this? This would have been September. And which is when I am recording this, I'm recording some voiceovers in advance. Uh, I'm recording in September right now. And the sun definitely is starting to shine later in the evening, which is very, very nice. I can't wait for daylight savings to start. Actually, has it already started when this video goes out? Possibly. Possibly. Let me check my calendar. Oh, it probably has started around about right now, I think. Uh, so I am using the little labels that came in the kit. 
uh, to document these very wintry photos of Arch and Aaron walking off to little school together to jump in the car with their matching beanies on. I have so many of these photos and I really have to control myself to not include one that's very similar to this every single week. So if you do see lots of these photos come up in my <laughs> Project Life process videos, just know that there's usually at least one a week of me just stalking them through the window because it's just too freaking cute. And when uh, Violet starts going to daycare, hopefully she started by the time this video comes out, uh, I'll have to get an updated version of him walking off with the two little munchkins together. So for this video, I really wanted to talk about sprinkly bits because I feel like sprinkly bits are such a handy little thing to have in your stash. Now, I, I love these stars. I found them on eBay a long time ago and they've since someone found them and uh, posted it in my Facebook group, Scrapaholics Anonymous. Uh, if you're not a member, actually, of Scrapaholics Anonymous, come and join us. I think we have almost 17,000 people over there at the moment. And uh, it's a great group. We share all sorts of projects. You can share your process videos if you make them, questions, challenges, anything except for selling things. We don't do any sort of um, shop sales or um, classes or any digital kits or anything like that because uh, it's nice to have a, a spot on the internet where you're not bombarded with uh, advertisements because I just feel like sometimes I'm in um, several different Facebook groups and sometimes it's a bit tricky to to get through all of the, the ads for things so then on this one um, I had already created that yes DIY embellishment uh, over on a recent Patreon video I made some alcohol ink uh, in bellies and so I popped that on because Arch has gotten into Art Attack. Now anyone else out there of my kind of age who else who loved Art Attack as much as I did oh my goodness I freaking loved that show and I was slightly obsessed with it and so we found some of the original versions on uh, YouTube. And so he sits there with his texters and just scribbles in his little journal and watches Art Attack. And mm, I just feel like the world has reached like a, a full circle and that my offspring is now enjoying the show that was the absolute, like, oh, the epitome of my childhood. Um, I didn't watch it uh as young as he, like he's two here. He's not really understanding it. It's just all, you know, pretty colours and things. But still, the fact that it maintains his attention for more than 30 seconds is, um, it just makes my heart feel all the feels. Uh, and so I can't wait until he's a little bit older and we can do like drawing tutorials together because I remember doing that with my dad. Um, and yeah, it's just going to be lots of fun. So this is a bit of a hodgepodge of all little stickers, but I love the way it turned out. And I think it kind of works with the, I don't know, Art Attack to me, they're always sticking things down and putting all sorts of bits and pieces that were cool and colorful together. And I think that it, I think that it works. Um, so back to sprinkly bits, because I started talking about that. I, this star sticker sheet, I get asked about it all the time and I, I don't have a link for it anymore. Um, but there might be another seller on eBay selling them. I just typed in like tiny star sticker and it came up after trawling through pages and pages. Uh, but I'm not sure the seller that I bought it from doesn't sell it anymore. But sprinkly bits don't have to be specifically stickers. Uh, other things that are really handy to add to your scrapbook stash are tiny, teeny, tiny hole punches. So I've got two handheld ones from uh, Fiskars and Nonspawn, bought them from Officeworks. And I use, you guys have seen me use them all of the time in uh, with my gold glitter cardstock. Another great thing for sprinkly bits is just a black and a white pen. Uh, I think that there's always the you know there's always the opportunity to to doodle a few little stars and hearts they're not tricky shapes to to draw on enamel dots are also fun um let me know your thoughts on nuvo drops or any of those i know there's a couple like is it that's the one that starts with s sprinkles sparkles spdinkles i can't remember it starts with an s Oh, someone's going to tell me I, ah, that's going to really frustrate me because I see the name in my head, but I can't 
get all of the letters together. Uh, how do you guys feel about those type of things where you just do the little dots? I I have not had luck with them and I think that's because I'm impatient um, and I struggle to let it dry. Uh, but yeah, any sort of little bits and pieces, I think they can, uh, especially for Project Life, they can really give a little bit of extra something to your page. This photo was when I restarted my Fobonichi. So on my second channel, Let's Get Inky, years and years ago before Archie was around, uh, four or five years ago, I started a Fobonichi and I freaking loved it. It was so fun to do. And then alas, when Arch came along, a lot of paper crafting projects kind of slipped out the window because I didn't have as much uh, time, energy or motivation to continue them on. And so while I was pregnant, I thought that I would start it again. And I did film a video for that. Is that on Let's Get Inky or is that on Patreon? It's on one or the other. And I restarted it with a very cheap journal from uh, Kmart. And it did fail because the paper quality was just killing me. It just was not doing what I wanted it to do. And you could see the pen through it. And it was just... Uh, it was very cheap and uh, I have kept the journal because I do want to keep the entries and I don't quite know what to do with them I might hole punch them and pop them in my um, scrapbook album actually rip them out maybe I don't know uh, and then I did start my Hobonichi which is a whole nother story that's for another video but uh, alas that is currently not in the works but I have an idea I have an idea to make it work uh, if you watch my Let's Get Inky videos and want a whole video on where my Hobonichi's at, let me know because, um, yes, it's a bit of a, a, a success and a fail all in one. So here's the finished page. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching today's video. I just see the word enjoying there. Uh, I hope you liked it and that it brought you a bit of crafty happiness today and that you're doing okay wherever you are in the world um, during all of this crazy, crazy time. I can't believe 2020 is almost over. Blah, where's it gone? Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out and I'll see you very soon. Bye.